your information hasn't changed very much apart aside from that additional 10 years from when we first spoke back in 2014. And I think that's always a very good sign for anyone that's skeptical. And, and I think people sure. can be skeptical about this oh, information, sure. whether it really happens. I would but, be if uh, it hadn't happened to me. I'd say that I've said that many times. If it hadn't happened to me, I would be incredibly skeptical of my own story. So, but because it happened to me, I, I, I get it and it's not, but I, I never feel bad or pissed off at someone because they want to be skeptical and question, you know, my experiences or my story. I get it. It's a crazy fucking story. I, I, I yeah. that's not your, that's not, if you're a regular Joe Jane person, I mean, it's not in your regular experience to think or understand or know what's going on there. So I, I don't blame people for being skeptical. Sure. Totally. Well, you know, as a researcher, you know, one of the things we look at in terms of like assessing uh, witnesses is, you know, how consistent are their stories? And since, since our first interview was in 2014 and now it's 2022, that's eight years, your, your story hasn't changed. It's essentially the same. Um, just how I remember it. Yeah. You just remember so, a little bit more now. Um, that, and uh, so that's gotten a little more know, clear. Yeah. That, so that's a very good sign. And, yeah. I, and I think it's also important to mention for people who are skeptical that you actually did do a lie detector test and, yep. and Gaia TV put yep. you through that. So do you want to tell us about, you know, what happened with Gaia TV, why they oh, put sure. you through the lie detector test and the result? Yeah, I'm always happy to give them a plug. Uh, so i uh, doing done some episodes uh, for Cosmic Disclosure with Gaia and um, they a little while back, we're like, hey, do you want to do a polygraph? And I was like, absolutely, I want to do a polygraph. So I was psyched. And we they set it up with a person who was probably the most qualified polygraph examiner in the state of Colorado that I could have gotten, who was a gentleman and his son, who are a father-son team called Hoff and Hoff of Colorado Springs. Uh, Thomas Hoff is a veteran police officer, of the Los Angeles Police Department detective for like over 20 years, uh, administered polygraph exams for them for over 22 years, uh, has done, administered over 10,000 polygraph exams, and is the uh, president of the Colorado Polygraph Examiners Association, as well as a former Marine. So I could not have asked for a more qualified polygraph examiner to give me a polygraph. And for people who don't understand polygraphs, uh, polygraphs are not a stress detector on whether you feel guilty about telling a lie or something. It is autonomic responses, uh, blood, pl bl sorry, blood pressure, blood pressure uh, the dilation of the capillaries on your fingertips, uh, and a couple other things, uh, surf electrotransmission signals on the surface of your skin that are that register when you tell a fiction so you can tell something that you have no emotional attachment to no guilt for like i had an elephant sandwich for breakfast today and it will totally show that you are not telling the truth so it's it's not a stress detector it's not a i feel bad or guilty about telling this lie so it's going to detect me it is a four autonomic systems in the body that trigger when we tell things that are simply uh, not fact in our fiction that show up. And they also do this test with a baseline. And the baseline is a question that they ask you, which you are supposed to lie to on purpose, because that gives them a baseline of what happens when you tell a lie and how that looks on the test. So I want to say the question uh, that they would ask uh, when I did the test was, have you ever said anything to anyone in anger that you regret it. And since everybody has, uh, including myself, you're supposed to say no to that answer. It's an obvious lie to a question that everyone, the answer would be yes to. And so uh, that's the baseline question. And the baseline question is repeated like throughout the questions as they repeat the questions. So you get asked the questions that they're trying to get you tested on asked multiple times. You get the test question, the baseline question asked multiple times. So you end up with a chart that shows you, you know, how flat is the flat line? You know, when we ask them the question, how high is the spike when we pass the test question? And then you get, um, based on that, you get whether someone is basically telling the truth or not. I was told by uh, Thomas that I aced the test, which means 
that my lies were a nice sharp peak like they should be, um, which is the test question. And that every single other question I was asked was an absolute flat line of absolute certain truth. So I, I am thrilled to have taken the test. Couldn't have been asked uh, to get someone, a more qualified examiner to give the test and aced it according to him. And he said, anytime, if anybody really has questions about that test or doubts about it, they can contact him. So Hoff and Hoff, Colorado Springs, you want to ask questions about the test, you can contact them and talk to them about it. Yeah, that's great because that is objective, independent uh, evidence about yeah. what what you've been saying and uh, they found that you were telling the truth. And, yeah. and, and it's worth pointing out that there's a lot of people out there that are talking about having served in secret space programs, but they haven't undergone a lie detector test and you have. So that's yep. a credit to you. 